Hello and welcome to this video which is about Dirty Tape which is being given away with Cubase 12. So if you're not aware of that offer go and take a look at the video linked in the description because if you own Cubase 12 and you claim this before October the 3rd, depending on the version you get, um, you will get a variety of plugins but this is one that's included for everybody. So as the name suggests Dirty Tape is a distortion which attempts to simulate what a probably not well maintained tape machine would sound like. So let's just have a quick look at the installation process and then see how it sounds. So here we are on the site, we can see it's pretty straightforward. We've got to log in or create a SoftTube account. I've already got an account, so I'll just log in. You register the license, the license code that's given in your Steinberg vouchers uh, page. And then, of course, we have the SoftTube Central, which is their installer, and then install it, and you should be in business. So I'm going to do the uh, login in and registering off screen because it's a pain. And you, you, you know, hopefully you know how to do that. And then we'll just uh, install it and then take a listen. So as you can see, once you get downloaded, there was a bit of uh, playing around to install other stuff, etc. But once you get installed, the, the actual uh, registration process was nice and clean on the website and then we're just going to install dirty tape just going to take the default install so here we are in cubase and in the spirit of getting this video out quickly i'm just going to do this pretty much in real time so uh, forgive any sharp corners on any of this but same loops as i've used on another video which hopefully i'll get out today as well Dirty Tape appears now, it's by default, it's installed as VST2 and VST3, which is uh, fine by me, really. It's not the end of the world. You can load that up, and there we have it. So this is my first time going through the plugin, so we're just going to set a loop, solo that track, and let's have a listen. So Drive and Dirt is really what we're here for, most importantly. It's pretty simple and straightforward, so... Yeah, I mean, we're getting some nice... Say, it's... it's. I wouldn't say it was necessarily subtle, but it, it... Vaguely reminiscent of my terrible mastering tape machine. Mastering, in quotes, tape machine that I had uh, in the mid-90s, which was uh, interestingly technically awful, but actually led to some really good sound recording. So I'm probably... This is the kind of thing I'd probably put on a, on a master and just use it to, to give that sort of retro vibe. Now, let's leave that like that, and let's just play around with this control, the dirt control, so let's go from clean. Yeah, I mean, obviously, particularly once we get past sort of two o'clock or so, it's really kicking in. You know, it's it's then it's becoming it's becoming much more of a sort of um, lo-fi uh, affected kind of you know record scratch kind of effect. But actually, you know what? I really like this plugin. A lot of things you just think, oh, it's just another another distortion plugin or whatever. Um, yeah, this is this is actually pretty nice. I'm quite pleased with this. So uh, pleased with it for free, certainly. Presets. Do we have any presets? We do. We have a series of presets. Now, I'm not, again, I'm not going to go through all these. I'm just pretty much doing this in, in real time. But it's nice that there are some presets. It's easy to think, you know, wow, well, just, I've just got to wang up the drive in the dirt. But often, you know, maybe with a combination of things like low cut. Now, this low cut goes pretty high. So let's just listen to the effect of that on the drums. Yeah, so we've got some real sculpting ability here. Now, obviously, you're really getting into the area of tape. Now, the other thing is, is we've got this decoupled, so we're now back into sort of more normal stereo mode. But that's pretty interesting that that, that gives us some nice sculpting capability in here. And obviously, these presets are going to play around with that. So if we load up, 
um, that you can see, you know, it's a combination of multiple settings in here. There's not a lot to, to really see. It's just that it's got a good sound that you can basically use. Now, let's have a listen. I think this is going to be pretty interesting on the piano because it will help give us that vibe. And let's see if there are any. There's no piano-based presets, but let's just try car cassette adapter on that piano. So you probably know what that piano sounds like, but it's, it's you know, vaguely Boomtown Rass-esque. Yeah, we're not getting too much out of that because it's a fairly low level, but when we get towards the end... Let's just... Maybe get a bit more out of that. The odd wobble in there is quite cute. Now, uh, in terms of loading, it's it's not too bad. Say so this is my Ailing 2015 uh, MacBook Pro, which is clearly showing its age now. It's time for an M1. Uh, but I, I've spent the money on other things, unfortunately. So, it, yeah, it's it's certainly not it's not killing it off. It's it's pretty consistent with with other plugins I've seen. Yeah. So, in summary, I mean, certainly for me, I think that's a nice plugin. Obviously, it's it's free, but there's there's quite often I want to simulate something which sounds a bit older, and I, I particularly like the fact that you can do drive independently of this and get a bit of flutter in there and make it sound tape like and as i've said a lot of um my old recordings which i've gone back to they have something about them because they were in quotes mastered they were they were recorded from my analog studio onto an old um it was an old tx stereo machine which didn't really get maintained that much i'm ashamed to say and was only you know quarter inch stereo, but they they had a real good sound to them, and it really actually helped cover up the terrible errors in my production technique. So there was a lot to be said for that. <laughs> there was a lot to be said for that. But anyway, that's uh, my quick look at installing and playing around with dirty tape. So get on that before the third of October, and you should be in in business. But to be honest, I think I'd probably take a look at that anyway because I think that's a really nice little plugin and. As ever, hope you found that useful and we'll see you again soon for more music tech tuition.